Hey everybody, Dana Rubino here with Windows Central. I'm just going to give you guys a quick tip here on a Lumia 950 and Lumia 950 XL. Uh, here is a Lumia 950 pretty much out of the box, uh, set to default settings. Uh, of course, we have a little background a little bit different here, and the tiles are completely transparent. Don't worry, you can of course change that. But what I want to demonstrate is these have obviously very good OLED screens on them at a QHD resolution. Um, but some people have complained that they're not as saturated or as it's kind of dull. Um, I don't really think that's the case, but there is a way to make things brighter. In fact, here is a phone next to it that is uh, more vibrant. And so you can actually change the settings. It's a little bit buried, but uh, it is definitely there. And if you're a big fan of uh, OLED displays, you may want to go play with this. So what you do is just hop into settings and then you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to extras. Once that loads, you want to hit color profile. It should be the third option down, depending on your setup. This is an AT&T phone, so we have that microcell setting, which probably won't be on a default 950 or XL. And now here, you can actually play around with uh, various screen settings that are unique to the Lumia, including the sunlight readability, which basically means it's going to ramp up super bright beyond 100% when you're outside in direct sunlight, so you can directly read it. And then uh, there's also the battery saver option. Uh, to disable that in case you're low on battery, so don't worry. But you can see here, just what we're interested in is uh, these are some sample photos, and then you have this little menu here, and you have standard, vivid, cool, or advanced. So this other phone I have here is on vivid, and everything is going to be a lot more saturated, sort of like the Samsung phones, which, like I said, some people don't like. They don't think it looks as natural. Uh, but you can actually change that right here so we can switch to Vivid. And it's going to be really hard to see on camera, obviously. But if you have a 950 or XL in front of you, you can give it a shot. I tell you, it makes a big difference when you're on Vivid. Uh, you also have Cool, which is going to add more blues to the device as opposed to reds. Um, I'm actually kind of interested. There used to be, I believe, a warm setting. I don't know why that's not there. But uh, you have cool, vivid, standard, and then there's advanced, which is really kind of neat. Advanced is what it sounds like. It's going to let you actually customize everything you want. So you can jack up, say, vivid all the way, and you can do uh, the neutral colors here. And you can see now you can, it's going to be a lot more dramatic. Where I go to purple, you can see the face changes there versus when I go to green, it's going to be a lot more different. And then here's your warm setting. So you can make it definitely a little bit more red or you can make it more blue. Uh, so if you want everything a little bit cooler. so. If you want, you can basically find what works for you that's different from the presets, and then you're good to go. That's it, and you get out of the device. And you can see now that actually does look a lot more blue to me. Um, like I said, if you have the device in front of you, you want to give it a shot. But if you have an OLED screen, uh, and this is actually all on the uh, Lumia devices, so if you have a 1520 or 930, you can do that as well. But I think it's a big deal here on the 950 XL. Quick tip for you. Let us know what you think. Head to Windows Central for more tips. Take care, everybody.